hard, but Moffitt has a trouble getting those hits in. As we move on to this game one, Tempo and Lord Bahamut facing off. We move to PS2. Tempo in Little Max position, you really need to breathe in and out. Use your ground speed to your advantage. Take advantage of the slow startup on a lot of Ganon's moves. And not get platform trapped like that. Missing the tech can be a death sentence. He's already got KO punch within 15 seconds after that down air. Tempo is in no hurry. But one down tilt from Bahamut will get rid of it. One up tilt on top of the platform, but he's going to air dodge out of that. Have to see how Mac is going to recover from this one. He will not. Even after that side special, just had the jump, but had no space to make it back. And that outstretched leg is going to take the first stock. Has to be careful not to hang too low at the ledge because that can be key for a Ganon side. Bahamut does go for those. Wizard's foot will deposit him on top of the platform, but Tempo will go back with a rapid jab. Drop down bear from Bahamut. And once again, KO Punch nearly fully charged. He's gonna use the side special to make it back, not wanting to deal with any of Tempo setups on top of the platform. That dash attack will activate the KO Punch. Although the flame choke nearly knocked it out of him, he still has it. Gonna get up. Now Bahamut has to be careful. Quick dash attack and a quick attack afterwards is gonna take the stock. Great feint and attack afterwards, and now he's in KO Punch range. Might have been able to get it raw, but he does get it off of the down tilt, and what a reversal from Tempo. Already has Lord Bahamut on the ropes now. And to charge up that wizard's foot a bit ambitious, did not tech the flame choke. So we'll be flying off stage. How is he gonna land with a counter? That's gonna be an easy up air through the platform from Bahamut. This is a much closer game than I think both of these players anticipated it being at the beginning. After the tech missed, it's gonna be another side special and easy forward smash punish. Uses the full extent of the wizard's foot, but Bahamut already at 111. Again, back off stage, not gonna do frame with the bounce pass, but he's just sending him. Bahamut can't really get any stage presence going. Back off stage. That time he does get the flame choke, but if it wasn't hard, it is gonna be even more difficult with the presence of this KO punch. He's gonna run up and do it, no. He'll just occupy that ledge as soon as he likes, and Bahamut just felt no, no way to make it back. There was just so much momentum that he got and then immediately lost at the hands of that KO punch, and that is what Little Mac can do. If you manage to take one stock, as Tempo did, with a KO punch in hand, all of a sudden you're 30 or more percent from losing it again. And that is just the most fearsome thing that your character can have after you know, a quick aerial or some quick option. And that's not saying that Little Mac doesn't have those. He has just so many burst options on the ground. They're unconventional for sure, but a lot of them do tend to work in the same manner as other characters, other much higher on the tier list characters do. If you are semi-consistently getting killed at 30%, there's always a place for you in some capacity. That downer will knock the KO punch into tempo, though. Bahamut starting this one like he did game one. Hoping for a different ending. This time, goes for the Warlock punch. Really ambitious there, and that's going to be an easy punish off of the down tilt. Not quite sure if that was a miss input, but he will get drop down there off of the Angel platform. And Bahamut just going to drop down. Hoping that Tempo will back off, hoping that he can catch him in the outer stage of his weaving motions. One up tilt will knock him off though. Landing down air into back air will put him back into the lead by about 40%. And he might be out, yeah, without a jump, he's gonna be two framed by that down smash, and Bahamut is gonna be sent to his winner's side stock. KO punch on deck. For Bahamut, it's absolutely imperative to get the kill as soon as possible or at the very least try and get rid of the KO punch. 
Rapid jab will knock him upwards. How's he gonna land with a fair? Excellently timed. Not only excellently timed, but excellently spaced as well. It's not the safest move on shield, but when you do manage to get it, it can apply the right amount of shield pressure. And to his credit, KO Punch is gone. Edge grabbing with an air will not work. He did manage to two frame him there. He's going to be living, but going off stage with the side special and tempo with a quick 2-0 over Lord Bahamut, showing what Lumac can do, not caring about your tier list at all. And just took advantage of a ton of misplays on Bahamut's behalf. He made some good plays early in both game one and game two, but got the momentum sucked out of him both times by an early KO punch. And towards the end, it just looked more like an inevitability. Excellent work to Tempo. We'll be seeing him in the next round and hopefully back on the mic soon.